Hello and welcome back to Tharic Plays Blood Bowl 2 with our Nurgle team today and maybe a steam chat sound that you might have heard there. I thought I had that set down lower but apparently not any longer so you might have heard that or not. I have no idea because it popped up somewhere close to the um, recording starting so we will see. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is our team for today. We have all the Nurgle Warriors again. Uh, luckily, we've got all the Pestigors. I think I'm going to keep Rabies for now. I don't like him having Agility too. But we also can't afford to replace him, so I think I'll try to live with it and we'll see how that works out. But we can't really afford to lose any Agility, at least on these guys. Um... But he's supposed to be a killer, so he might not be needed to be as mobile. Uh, so it could be okay for him, but we'll 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 have to wait and see what it's going to be. Uh, last one was that. Oh yeah, that was that. That um, what was it again? The the dwarf match. Let me see what happened there. Something mean. I think it was just yeah. We I don't remember. I've purged this one from my memory, apparently. Um, so yeah, so, so that's what's confusing me, because I always, for some reason, associate this sign with Dark Elf, so it wasn't this, was, didn't we play Nurgle? Oh yeah, we played that weird Nurgle team, but this was this team, and then we had the Dwarf team. So I've got 11 players exactly on point, and we'll, we'll have to wait and see... Uh, what it's going to be, we get 2 minutes 21 seconds waiting time, so we'll be right back as always. And here we are. Uh, so... More Nurgle? Really? Oh boy. So this is gonna be interesting, especially if it's also a Nurgle team that's built more traditionally than mine is. Okay, no, it's actually... A bit of a clear-cut copy here. So first of all, he's got one more reroll than I do. Cheerleader, no, coach assistant more. We've got... Does he have all Pestigors? Oh, it's not sorted. That's not how you do this. So he's got all Pestigors. They all have block. He's got... One Rotter with block, one with 30 player. He's got Nurgle Warriors with jump up, block, block. A guard block guy, and he's also got a block claw beast. So, yeah, as I said, uh, blast from the past. Uh, no, we 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 we've seen this before. So I don't know. We'll we'll see what it's going to be uh, with this one. Uh, I have no idea what to expect. We do have more mighty blow. I think I have less block. I have more skills overall because he has the um, extra reroll in there. And he also... Well, no. Do I have more skills? Probably not, actually. It feels like it, though. But I don't have reserve players, and he does, and that's a problem. We both have a Claw Mighty Blow Block Beast, which is just horrible. And he's gonna go on offense, which means I do not want to give him my Beast of Nurgle on the line of scrimmage. We can't afford that. He's gonna block my Beast with his Beast, and there's too good of a chance of that getting injured and sent off the pitch and maybe not regenerating all that stuff, so I don't want to deal with that at all. Um, so let's wait and see what it's going to be. It's always timer has been gone or has uh, is down for us already. And there we see. Come on. Just do something. <laughs> so I'm not sure how much we have to worry about here. I think the big thing will be the beasts. Which beast will perform better? Because that's the only Mighty Blow Claw on the pitch. I get to set up in defense. Um, obviously not a surprise. He has his two reserve players. The thing about this now is, I guess... Oh, God... I guess I give him rabies, which I do not like, but we don't have much of a choice now, do we? With the way we set these up here. Because I have only two rotters, we don't have three of those. Um, there, okay. Um, 
So I have to figure out how to play this. We've got the wrestle dodge in the middle. We've got the mighty blow tackle here. He doesn't have dodge, so we don't need tackle. And I'm questioning if I should put my beast here because he could blitz with his beast in here or if we wanna, I think I'm gonna give him one extra space, which hopefully will turn out to be okay. Um, but I just want to discourage him blitzing with the beast. I doubt he will. I think he'll just go and try to kill Rabies here. Hopefully he won't make it, but Rabies is also now officially fodder since he's already got the minus agility. We'll, we'll, we'll see what it's going to be, basically. Yeah. I don't know what to think about this. Um, ball handling wise, we're better. He's got a lot of blocking skills. We're, we're My blocking skills aren't that horrible as well, but he's got just more level ups on rotters. That helps. He's got two block rotters and a guard block rotter, so he has guard. I do not. Which could also be something. <sighs> we'll see. We'll see what it will be. This is dive. No, this is jump up. Yeah, okay. So no reserve players, two on his side. He should get the guard guy in, I assume. In favor of something. His dirty player also will probably see more action than mine. We don't have a bribe, but since he has a bench, he can afford to get a player sent off more right now. But if he does not switch in the guard block guy, I'm okay with that. If he forgets about him. I see no reason to not get him on there right now. So what is he doing? Hmm. And I did use my, my better Chaos Warriors on the corners there because I want them to... Uh, or they, they do have block dodge, so since he doesn't have tackle, they're less likely to get knocked down. Ah, we get an extra reroll, thank you. That's helpful, so I go up to four as well. Not the kick that I wanted. I, as always, I would have liked a deep kick, especially on this aggressive of a setup. So let's wait and see what it's going to be. He does start with a... Oh, I should have checked his record with the team. He does start with a Beast of Nurgle block, though. Even with block, you should not do that, in my opinion. And he could have made that an easy three die, which he didn't. So that makes me happy right now since he made some minor mistakes in my opinion right now but then he also did something right which is block diagonally to give himself more blocks against me and this is possibly also going to end in a foul instantly uh, i'm not sure why he would have followed otherwise we'll see though we'll see though what it's going to be also follows with this one Or he's just trying to keep me 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 based. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, a blitz right now. I'm not sure where he would blitz. He might not blitz at all. Looking at things. I think that is a distinct possibility here. I want to use my beast for blitzing. But I'm worried about it. No, there this this smells like a foul. Yeah, it's he's gonna foul my my rotter, pretty sure. Well first of all, let's see if he rerolls this. He does, so one reroll gone, and he makes on the second one. That's a bummer. Didn't want to see that happening, of course. He even throws a pass, seriously? And he makes that pass. Wow, okay, greedy move, but works. Not that I could have pressured him. He Even if he had dropped that ball, it would have been too far away. Um, but damn, that was... That wasn't bad for us. Or, I mean, it's good for him. It's would have liked for him to fail this, though. Let's see about the foul. Luckily, he just goes for the rotter. But gets him KO'd and doesn't get caught. So he already has a player advantage. Obviously not what we wanted to see here. Mm. Okay, yep, expected. 
and we'll see about these. So let's see, I'm really not sure how to move these guys in completely, at least right now. Uh, but we'll we'll have to wait and see what we can do about this. I am going to try and set up my Nurgle warriors in a good pattern that should allow us to do decent stuff. And we'll see about the rest, basically. So he's going to be right there. Just to keep these guys from getting assists, he also has dodge... I could get an easier blitz in there. No, it would have would be just a one die though. So I think I'll keep these two guys in the back. Although we probably want the other dodge guy up here right now. Or let's go with sepsis. And keep him in the back just to be a little bit more reactive. Let's see. Do have his foul appearance to get past as well. Works, and then I don't knock him down. Are you freaking serious? That's what I mean with the beast, always. That's kind of bad. So I'm not gonna force the issue. I'm worried if I follow, though. One, two, three. F he is going to most likely... Blitz me with his beast, I think. And I don't want that, so I'm not gonna... No, I am going to do that. Yes, we're gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it, man. I don't know if it's good or not. I don't think so. But I want to risk it, because that basically dictates his turn. And that might give me an edge right here, where I have my strength 4 in position that he can't easily do stuff about. So hopefully this will work. Um... I have no idea, though. And he might not be willing to take the, that risk. Yes. This is why I thought to bring the dodge guy over there, because I assumed he would get the assist and try to get the two die. There's the blitz, but it's early. It's early. Come on. Just push me. No, of course he gets the knockdown. Why wouldn't he? Yeah. And there it is. So... The first half just increased in difficulty exponentially. I'm two players down, and I'm down the most important player right now. The guy, the thing that was supposed to just finally work for me. How long does he have that block dodge now and just doesn't do anything with it? Or not that block dodge, that block claw mighty blow. He's just not working right now, and it's, it's a bit annoying. I'm sorry, I'm, I went into this episode with a bit of a bad mood. I'm trying to get out of this. But I just, it's, it's, I know a lot of the high team value range in Blood Bowl is, is populated with bash teams, but I get nothing but bash teams every damn time I play Blood Bowl, and it's starting to annoy me a little bit. It's, it's making me not want to play Blood Bowl, because it's just super boring to always play against the same freaking bash teams. And the Legendary Edition has just been released, basically, for two months now or something, and there's so much variety in there. I still haven't seen Amazons. Not a chance. I haven't seen Pro Elves, aside my own, and the one that we played on Team Value 1000 or something like that. This is just... It's, it's, it's starting to get a bit annoying. It's not going to stop me from playing this game, because I'm not going to give up hope that it's going to get better, but yeah, it's just annoying to play against something like this. And then you just get get knocked out instantly again. I KO two turns in. He doesn't get punished for playing his beast early on and not doing anything. My beast only pushes because that's everything my beast pushes. And I'm talking myself into a little bit of a rage right now, which I really shouldn't, but it's just it's starting to annoy me. And I don't know. I'm going to stop now. But I just wanted to to let you guys know that this is annoying to me quite a bit. Why does it always have to be matches like these? Why can't I just get a normal match where I don't instantly lose my biggest and most important asset in turn two? That should not be too much to ask. <sighs> At 
least I have block and he doesn't there. But see my block dies again? Is that is that so necessary? So we've got this one. Good. Thank you very much. Question is, do I follow this or not? I think we... do not. Because I want the beast to hit the block dodge guy where he has less of a chance to really hurt us. But I also would like to just knock down the beast, and I can do that if I get the right amount of assists. Basically. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how to get that to work. And maybe we'll just get a little bit lucky. Nope, I keep getting stuns. Well, I got a stun to begin with, but you guys know what I mean. So I now could get an assist here. And then blitz him, which would give me a higher strength than him, and then we could hit him. Or I could blitz here, and then put myself next to the ball carrier, but in all likelihood that would get me surfed. So I really should not do that. Which means instead, we are gonna... Oh, I hate this so much, though. I'm gonna try, though. Yeah, I need to keep these others for the end, unfortunately. Let's see. Knock him down. Push him backwards and stay. Okay, we did nothing there. We're gonna keep these like this. He's got the dodge reroll. This is... Yeah, none of these are good dice rolls right now, which means right now this guy needs to dodge to here. And then he's going to try and dodge as well over in this direction. Good, we made it and I am going to, I think, just put myself right here. He can't serve me this round and we keep him from going anywhere. So we'll see. We've got a two-player disadvantage, but right now we're looking still okay in the in that department. These guys are slow. And right now this guy only also has a one die, so he might just bring him back in. And we've isolated basically with this. Oh, no. He didn't go with a jump up block? Okay, fine. That's good. Because he could have pushed this guy away. Even a push would have been enough here. So these guys are slow. And right now I've got my strength four guys where they need to be, while his strength four guys are off on the side doing um, less important work. And that's helping us right now. The beast also can only move one space, so I doubt he'll blitz with it this round. He might. Um, but he can get an easier block here, but then he could go in and blitz one of these guys, which could be valuable, of course, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, gets the pow. That's not what we wanted to see. That's really not what we wanted to see. Oh, boy. But right now, yeah, okay, goes in with the beast again. I mean, it's got the best chance for him, and it also brings him in where he can really be annoying with the beast and uh, keep me locked in and keep me from being able to block. But yeah, really, three ammo breaks, KO, KO injury. That's it's just unnecessary. And then I push and stun once. That's what I do instead. Ah. <sighs> I hate when the RNG just just does not want to cooperate at all. And now we're we're stuck against the beast. Getting the assists will be more or less impo impossible. It's not completely impossible, but it's really freaking difficult. And the way he set this up now, oh boy, oh boy. I'm not sure we're going to be able to make this work. I do have an idea because right now this is a two die. 
which means if I can block this guy away, which is also a two die, I actually have a blitz against the ball carrier, but then he also does one die blocks and does not get punished for them in the slightest. So that is no longer an option. And that basically means I can't attack his ball carrier again. Yeah, I mean, what am I supposed to do? He makes all of his blocks, he gets all the important removals where he needs them right now, and I just don't get anything. I mean, I don't get bad rolls either. So far, it's just been not good, it's just been average. I don't know what's 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 up with me today. Why I'm in 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 why this has me so annoyed right now. Um, I'm just not not happy with with this. We're gonna keep trying, but it's a clear disadvantage right away on two war and not war bands on two teams that are very equal in a lot of ways, but just. How this is um, presented, basically, and with him getting this advantage instantly, it's just not looking good. I am considering just surfing this guy to try and injure him to give myself somewhat of a chance because we can't do much here. Um, but that would mean blitzing him and then pushing him out, and I already see myself not getting the block die that I need there to, to make that work whatsoever. So I'm not sure I should even attempt that. But it would probably be the right call. Yeah, I need an assist here. Then we could make this a two die. I would almost be willing to dodge him, but he's next to tentacles. So that's just not a good option. So we'll do this. It's riskier, but hopefully will yield the desired results. Because I do have an idea of what we could do here or what might be better for us. We're going to bring him in. Once again, putting ourselves next to the beast, which I do not really like, of course, but we are running out of a little bit of options. We only get a push here. I need to see how my other blocks go first before I decide on whether or not I want to try to get a serve there or not. Because we need a knockdown right here. Yeah, what am I supposed to do with this, honestly? Because if I only push... There's just nothing I can do. So the plan was knock him down, don't follow, then dodge past him and blitz the ball carrier because that's something we could have done. But now it's a dodge into two tackle zones and that's just horrible. Um, so instead, I guess I'm gonna waste another turn to try and push this guy out. And yep, really? Really? And then the game keeps adding on insult to injury here with those moves. And we only get a KO, not even an injury. So he could come back. I'm just... I'm unhappy with this, you can say that, that's for sure. That is... for sure. And I'm gonna try to get the frig away from this thing. But the tentacles obviously won't allow me. Well, an 8 plus is not impossible, but it's... Also not that easy, unfortunately, apparently. Yeah. Hey, it's only a push. How about he rolls a double, bo uh, double both down or something like that as well on the guy? Because this is what he keeps doing. It's the sec... It's, it's, the guy does not have block, so he should not use him as his first action in all likelihood. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you for the little things. He keeps, he keeps getting pushes. It's the small things that I, I point out always where I feel like... He's playing it risky and all that stuff. He just doesn't need to do that and they never get punished for it. And then I try to just get set things up and it just doesn't work. Yes, I know. It's high quality whining. Finally, he gets it. So now he needs to reroll. He goes down to two. Gets the knockdown, though. At least he's still down to two rerolls. That's the start. And that means he doesn't have another reroll for, for this round. It's good. It's not bad. We can work with this. And the beast only gets to block a dodge guy, so hopefully we can get that. A both down would be awesome, so that we can pull the beast down with pneumonia if he decides to block him. Because if he 
Well, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. And I'm, 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 I'm really sorry for, for being that annoyed and starting to get salty again, but I'm just... Uh, I don't like how the dice are falling right now. I feel at a disadvantage. I feel like he's getting the important things always, and now he's going to remove this guy as well. That's part for the course. No, he doesn't even get through the armor. Thank you for the little things once again. But we expected this to block him because then he needs just another assist to get a two die here, and he's trying to get as many blocks as possible. Uh, so hopefully he won't get a pow there at least because, um, yeah, we kind of... Oh, that's good. He used the reroll. Thank you. Come on. Stunned. Can we use this, though? The answer is a... Probably not. Unfortunately. Um, so I think what we will do is try to disengage from his Beast of Nurgle first of all, so that he can no longer just easily um, do I want an assist somewhere? That's the big question. Do we want to just block somewhere? I think we want to play this for safety, which means I need to keep him from moving much right now. Because let me see. If he blocks to here, he stands up, blocks this guy. Could go one, two, three, four, five, six... Oh, no, I like that more. Yes. Okay, we're going to take the weird risks, I think. We'll see. I'm going to have to move some stuff first. I'm going to take... I also just moved him the wrong way, I think. No, it could still be okay. Oh, God. This one I'm really worried about. Let's start with the riskiest one, of course. Yeah, I know I've got annoyed about him, but at least I did my moves first in this case, which helps. Good. This is better for him than for me right now, I still think, but hmm, we'll see. So I want to try to play it like this. Do the one die block. A push is good enough here, believe it or not. It's not what we want, of course, but it's good enough. And I need to follow this, but what it does allow me to do is... Bring this guy in. Which means we can blitz the ball carrier with a two die. Get the knockdown. God damn it. Thank you so much. I am going to stay. No armor break, unfortunately. But we do have the ball over there. What would that be? A five plus pickup. I'm going to attempt it. I have sure hands. I need to try this. We make it. So we dodge out of here, all the way to there, to give him an assist, so that we can block this guy with a two die. And then if I follow, the beast could blitz itself into my vicinity, so I need to stay, so that the beast will have to blitz to move in there, and even then... Yeah, because I would be here afterwards, and then the beast would have blitzed him and then moved in there. Wow! Okay. We've turned this around. Oh, I'm so happy I saw that this was an option. Oh, God. Hoo -hoo 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 -hoo. The turnover helped us there a lot. God damn. So we might be able to, to make this work if I can keep the ball or just keep him from scoring. The pickup here was very, very lucky as well. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Blood Bowl. Thank you so much. Hi. Um, just a little bit amazed that that actually worked. But let's see. Yeah, he got a pow again. Does he do anything to hepatitis D? Is it D? Yeah, B. It was B. He doesn't. The good thing here is he, he can't get next to my ball carrier. He can possibly get a blitz against him. No, not even that. 
Well, yes. Yeah, he needs to knock him down. Which he doesn't do. He would have gotten a second try if he had pushed him to here. Could have used this guy and then blitz with him, but now he can't blitz the ball carrier. Wow, am I actually able to get away here? I mean, no, because we still... This guy is strength four, we have only strength three here. We've got... He's got guys back here that he can try to free up. He can at least... He hasn't blitzed yet. There's a pow. Okay, let's see. Uh, one, two, three... No, he pushes me to here, so that means he won't try to blitz with him as well. One, two, three, four, GFI blitz, but would have been a two die. I'm not sure what he's doing right now. What? I don't understand. What he could be trying to do is chain push his beast into my vicinity. He can blitz with this guy push me down to here and then push the beast to there. That would me keep me most likely keep me in there because I might not be able to dodge because of the tentacles. But he's just standing him up. He's doing a one die. Why? Yeah, now he's doing weird things. He does get the push, so let's see if he sees this chain push option. He doesn't. Okay, he's making mistakes now. I mean, he started with these small mistakes that I previously pointed out repeatedly here. But, yeah, this is not something he should do. He could have done this way better. He does get a pow there again, though, so he does get somewhat rewarded for this one, unfortunately. Which will make getting away a little bit more risky because I'm now going to have to probably blitz myself. And then he does a one die with a player that doesn't have block against the block player, and that one works. Yay! With an armor break on top of it. In the worst spot ever imaginable for us right now. Yeah, this one is just um, really bad timing there. That would be a one die. But this this is the two die that I have to take, unfortunately. And we have to start with it with it as well. Good enough. We have block, he does not. And then I mean I already have to start moving, basically, and there is only one direction we can reliably move to. Don't really have a lot of options here. I could try to stay further back, but I don't think that would really help much. So I'm even gonna go here so that he can't set up the surf against me that easily, and we'll just live with it that way. Yes, we're pushing this. And I will push him out if they let me. This is a one die right now. And I'm very, very tempted to take it. I think I'm gonna risk it. The problem is if I push, we push the beast to here. Which means he could block this guy and then he can blitz with him. Which would be bad. Right now, he's also still blocking these guys a teensy bit. But if I get a knockdown here, it would be extremely valuable. Yeah, let's go. Foul appearance, that's fine. We're not gonna block this in that case. He's gonna stay here. Um... No. It's not gonna help us. I think it's too risky. We could fail the dodge. It's not ideal, but we still have some some options here. Yeah, three players down. He's down one. He gets the pow yet again. <sighs> oh. 
But this is still not over. We have the ball right now. It's his offense. He's three, three, he has three turns left to score, which means he needs to regain the ball, pick it up again, and get it into scoring range. And we're still close to the line of scrimmage, which means I could still be able to prevent this touchdown. Oh, the foul appearance now coming into effect for him as well. That's a good start. So that was... He doesn't... I don't have dodge there. That was the jump up guy, so he didn't jump up. Okay. Shouldn't he have jumped up first, though? Or what is the order of operations there? I don't know. Uh, but right now, this is still okay. And these guys are somewhat far away. If he hadn't been stunned, that would have been way better. I would have just stood him up. And then this would have been still a two-spacing. And he would have tried to need it to get the block there again. Probably use an assist and all that stuff. And it's just not working. But he keeps getting the pows against my dodge guys. That's just not something we can afford right now. He's getting so lucky with those dice rolls there. I hate it so much. It's, it's so bad for us. It's very difficult to do anything if he... Oh, perfect. This is perfect timing. Thank you. If he keeps getting the powers against the dodge guys, if he were just to push them around, it would make things a lot closer and much more doable for me. This just means I can't get blocks back. All I can do is mostly stand up and try to work with a few cho choice pieces that we have left here and try to make this work somehow. But it's just not easily doable. The, the, he, he does get bad dice rolls as well. I mean, he got the foul appearance. He rolled the one there with very bad timing with the beast now. All of that is perfect. That's good for us. But, I mean, still, really? <sighs> I assume he's gonna... Yeah, is he gonna mark me now? And then he's gonna blitz this guy to prevent the, the surf? Or is he just gonna set it up like this and assume that I'm gonna do the one die? We'll see. No, he goes for the blitz against my ball carrier. Well, maybe. No, he decides against it. He still has this guy here. What, he do blitzes with hit? No, he dodges. Wow, okay. Is he he's using his last reroll, and he doesn't get it. Okay, so I keep the ball right now. Probably. Why would you... Well, I can somewhat see why, but still. Not down here. Hmm. Foul appearance there with a the one. Yeah, now he's getting the bad dice rolls that we needed to see there. Oh god, I'm gonna have to do risky things now. Oh no, I do not like that. One bit. So these will just stand up, I believe. Unfortunately, since I can't really do anything with them. Him I could dodge. I could risk it. But we won't. Which means we will just take our blocks here, push him down to there, and stay. Oh, I'm a break, come on. Once again, only a stun. I, I don't get injuries. Next is this block. I've got a problem, though, with this, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, we need to follow that one. I oh, there it is, but he's going to re regenerate. That's what this means, I think. Yeah, because we didn't get the animation. I could dodge him. Or I could risk the one die. I think I have to risk the one die. Ah, oh, no, I should have blitzed and then moved him in there. That was the mistake. Okay, well... We'll still get it. Nothing, so once again, no injury. <sighs> Crud. Okay, so we're still not where we want to be, but it's still fine. We can blitz this guy. Push him into my players and stay. And then I move up this way. Uh, well, this way, and we do have... We do have rerolls left, so I might as well GFI. I'm amazed that we managed to get the ball here and get it away with. That was extremely lucky there. 
Oh, now I feel even worse for getting as salty as, as I did in the beginning. I mean, it's still undoubtedly, I think, the case that I have the the worst. I still think my, my, my odds were really bad in the beginning. And all that really helped us here was that he's made mistakes. If he had played this a bit safer, I would not have been able to do this. This was possible because he allowed me to. Okay. Um... But then we also got the right timing at the right time, otherwise things would be looking differently right now. This does not mean I'm good yet. I still have to get there, and I still have an injured player and two KO'd ones. Well, he has one KO'd player and one served and one regenerated already. So he will definitely be at 11 players, um, while I might be at 8 for, my, for, for the next drive. Um, and none of this is good. I need my beast back, basically. I need my, my, my damage potential back. Let's see. Daddy, he needs the POW. And he doesn't get it. And he doesn't have rerolls left. So this is basically... Why do you push me to there? That's what I don't understand. I mean, he wants to go here. But it's a GFI that he really should not be doing. He has no right to do that. And he does not push me away from the touchdown zone. I don't understand. Well, I do understand, but I just don't agree with his choice. We'll see what it'll be. With these guys being in there, my plan of trying to serve this guy, I now really can't do, I think. But... That's okay-ish. So the Blitz is a bit unfortunate right now, I think, because if I were to go to here, that's two GFIs, which means we can't do that Blitz, which means I need to do this differently, so we have to chain push. So I'll Blitz him. And then we'll do this. And I will stay. Okay, another stun. But it does set up a surf for turn 8, if we want to take it. And it also allows me to hit this guy. Uh, and I don't need to move right now, so I'm gonna stay here and take the block. Take the reroll as well. Good. We push him over to here. And then I'm going to stay. Oh, another ammo break. God damn the timing. With the KO, no injury yet again. But I don't care right now. Any removal is a good removal. And this still means that I, in all likelihood, I will get to score here. Which I did not think very, very likely just a while ago. Yeah, that's basically done and done, though, so I do want to get a good chance to serve this guy here. Oh, actually, I could have gotten these a little bit better. Let's see if he can make the dodge. I'm gonna try. Oh, we got away. Okay, good. So, four. Do I want to try to hit this? Or not. I'm gonna go with not. In this case, I think... Yeah, we're gonna have to chance it. Don't like it, but it's okay. But if I want to get a... Oh, yeah, well, we can't get the three die. That's, I think, five... Yeah, no, we can. Four, five, six, seven... I can get the three die there, and he gets a pow against my block dodge guy again. He once again started this with a player that doesn't have block. And since he doesn't have a reroll left, this is even worse. I mean, I can see why he wants to level him, but still. I mean, at this point, it's probably not really an argument right now. He, d he has limited options as well, so he's probably trying to get the blocks where he can take them. Ah, thank you, just the push there. That one was the one I was worried about, that we had to accept now. 
man, he's also going to level up if this works. I don't really see him making this any longer. We might also not see a surf if he goes for a desperation play like dodge blitz. Could happen. Unlikely. And the double pow is even unlikelier that he would need there for, for me to lose the ball. Hmm. Is he really going to foul me? With a Nurgle warrior? Why? If you don't have a bribe. God, how do I wish that these people would get punished for stuff like this? Just get the guy sent off. Bye-bye. You, you're, you're not allowed any longer. That would be even nicer. But I'm surprised that we turned this around. I did not expect that at all. So what is he going to do now? There's the blitz. Wow, one die pow. Okay, sure. That's interesting. I mean, <clears throat> who cares right now? I mean, I do because I would have get gotten to. I would have been able to block him on the alternative. But still, this is this is fine. And okay, he just knocks himself down, so I can't get him, which means I will. Try to get a blitz in there, though, I think. And we are going to take a, sm a risk, because I'm going to go in with him, but I'm going to make it a three die. Uh, but he doesn't have block, so that's why this is still a risk. And I'm going to do the stupid greedy thing. I'm re-rolling this. Oh, thank you. That's something you shouldn't do. But at this point, I still need to remove something. And Mighty Blow is a good option. But I just keep getting stuns. Because the game does not want me to get actual injury casualties. And, yeah, injury casualties, yes. Actual injury SPP. That's what I wanted to say. Um, which I also don't get. Just look at my beast. How long did it take the beast to get 16 friggin' SPP? Oh, both of them come back. Oh, thank you so much. Only one of his guys comes back, so one of his Pestigors is sitting this one out. Still? Good. So now he's on defense. I have 10 players. He still has 11. But that's okay. I only have a one-player disadvantage, and we get to open this up. So I might be able to get this to 10 versus 10 quickly. And hopefully my beast, my beast will just do something. Hmm. God damn, this is a close match so far. So we got very lucky there. He made a few minor mistakes overall that allowed us to, to blitz his ball carrier, which he shouldn't have allowed us. But then the scatter landed perfectly, and in the right moment I got the 5 plus pickup, we managed to get away, and then we kept the ball. That's... I didn't expect this to happen at all. Um, it once again always shows why you should stay active and stay uh, concentrated and try to figure out how to do something and... and make this work for you, because it always can. I was three players down at that point, maybe two at that point, two or three. Um, but we still we still tried. I was annoyed, I got salty, I complained a lot, we still managed to make it work because I kept my head in the game, I think. Um, and that, that, that helps a lot. Um, so as much as I can get salty, I always try. I think that's what we can all agree on. At least I hope you guys see it the same way. And yeah, we'll we'll just uh, we'll work from there on out. Now our position is actually looking fairly okay. Uh, we only have one player disadvantage. Nothing is severely injured. Uh, the Rotter is just in badly hurt in an MNG, so he's just going to be missing the next match. And who freaking cares? It's just a Rotter. Um, and right now we're actually in the lead, which I did not expect. But this might be what we need here. So we're going to try to make it work. Hmm. 
Mm, he is running out of time though, and right now he doesn't have three players on the line of scrimmage, so somebody is gonna get put there. Okay, there we go. I mean, it's pretty obvious that I will... Um, yeah, I think I'll use the Mighty Blow Pastigore, I guess, to try and get this one. So hopefully that'll work. Then we've got... him right here, but I'll do this. No, we'll not use him because he's less safe to use. We'll use the block tackle one. I might blitz with him. We could go after this guy if we knock him out of here, although we should probably do this just in case we fail. I need to block back and forth. So we'll get all of these under control. So block to here. Beast block to there. With the beast, I might also be willing to follow in, although right now this side is much, much weaker. So it's also not where my beast should be. I think maybe? I don't know. We're going to stay a little bit more around the center right now anyways, I think. So let's just uh, try to stay safe-ish here. Let's do... I think I might as well do these. Be very aggressive about the setup just to see... What that's going to do. We get another reroll. Good. So once again we go up to four as well. And then we get to blocking. So let's start with this. Doesn't work. That's a bad start. Which means we'll do this one next. Come on. Bad. No, also doesn't work. Really? Now we can't continue with this one. It's too risky. I'll take the mighty blow block here. Which also doesn't work. Seriously. See what I mean? This is just me not understanding why the game is like this sometimes. And then I roll double skulls. Because why wouldn't I roll double skulls? We finally get a freaking knockdown. God damn, really? It took... Four blocks and a reroll to not get a result that would destroy us here. Man, that's bad. I'm gonna blitz next before I do another block. This one is a bit safer and it's I want just this target to to get off the pitch ideally. I don't want to deal with guard, but as always we just get the stuns. Because why would I get anything but those? Um Okay, this is still not ideal. Oh, it actually does something. I'm amazed. But I think I'm also going to disengage here and not allow him to block me back. But no, he's we got the injury, so he's off the pitch. Good, but he's regenerating again. So he's going to be back yet again. But we did get the removal that I was looking for, so now it's 10 versus 10. And we're fairly solid. I am going to try and make this block work before I pick up the ball in case we fail the pickup. Good, we've got this one. I am going to f follow it as well. No, he's going to stay. Here we go. Okay, good. And I can't even put myself into... Yep, we failed a pickup on a double one. And the scatter is also the worst one. Because that's easiest access for him. He can't get there easily. Yeah, he can't get there at all, to be exact. But still. Why not here? Why not let one of these guys catch it? Or not roll a double one and a double skull in the same turn. So let's see what's going to happen. I think we might see another Beast of Nurgle Blitz instantly. Really? I mean, nah, it's it's not even funny anymore. This was a 4-plus really stupid roll because he didn't put a player next to the beast before moving him. On an import, on the, on such an important blitz, he does not move the beast in there. And then he, I mean, he only stuns us luckily, but still. Is this, is this a joke? Is this his, I, is he serious? And is Nuffle serious in, in letting this allowing to in allowing this to continue 
I don't understand. It's not what should be happening here. There's so many instances where he could have been punished for his ruthless playstyle already. Uh, it's just... Why not just... I don't understand. And he just does not get punished for it at all. And now my beast will not do anything any longer as well. We are still at 10 versus 10. It's still not a bad thing. I got a stun against him back there, so he lost the 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 uh, the function of this guy for for a round. But yeah, he's setting up his defense now, and I if I had picked up the ball already, I would feel a lot better. But since we don't, and I might fail the pickup again, we're not safe yet, and this is. Dangerous. And there we go. So now he's got this completely. Oh boy, really? Yeah, this is kind of horrible for us right now. Mm. So let's see about these. Uh, if he goes right there... Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's do this. Which means he can get his block in. Hopefully he'll make it as well. And the Mighty Blow might do a thing. I am going to... Knock you down and follow as well. Thank you. Good armor break. Good injury. Thank you. Ah. Oh. So now we have a player advantage right now. That's good. That's really good. So what do we need? We need... I need a blitz, first of all, I think. Yes. Okay, let's do this. He's gonna blitz him. Which is only a push, but luckily for now, I think that is good enough. Because it'll still allow me to get an assist right there and block him. Hopefully knock him, knock him down. And that's the strength 4 guy, so that's the one we have to worry about um, when we're thinking about these. And I will... I'll follow. Yes, okay. Next up, unfortunately, I need the pickup and I need it to work. Thank you, good. So go all the way over to there. Because now we can start to go in here and maybe even do something decent right there. Yeah, we'll bring him in over there which means now he gets a two die against this one and then I will follow as well because we want this guy to not move if he stands up he's going to get an assist but it's it's okay ish this guy will get his block but that's about it I'm gonna try to dodge out Wow okay Big surprise, very happy with it. <clears throat> Means that his beast can't do much, except for blitzing, which he might do, but it's not in an important spot. And we're, we're looking good right now, yeah. I really think I let myself get very demoralized in the first few turns when everything went right for him. But luckily, I, I, I kept my cool for the most part after the initial annoyance, yeah. Now, because now... Mistakes like these are starting to get are starting to get punished. He makes small mistakes like this. He blocked me first with a player that does not have block. Maybe that was the first thing he really could have done, but especially standing this guy up first, he should have and could have done first. Um, and that's where I get my chances from right now. He is still he he got a really good start. But he made minor mistakes here and there, and then he got a little bit of, of, of bad dice luck. Yeah, stuff like this. One die? Really? 
Um, it's just... It makes it easier for us. It makes it doable for us. And that's so important right now. With all of this going on. That I'm now actively looking at how can we level these guys already. That's interesting. So we'll do this first. Because we can and we can knock him over to here and follow. And yeah, now it starts to, to just snowball in my direction. Because now we've got a very good setup. And he can't do much to us to really prevent us from from um, from advancing here. I really don't want to score with him, but I think it might come down to this. Maybe we'll feed this touchdown to somebody, but I don't know right now. Maybe we just want to try and get this with rabies. That could be a good option, but we will see. We will see. Right now... I just want the blocks, basically. And I want them in a safe way, so we're gonna do this. Because we can afford to now, I'm going to now blitz with my Beast of Nurgle. Well, first of all, I'm gonna take these blocks, because they're... They're less risky. And also, if they work, it's a mighty blow block here, which makes this a two-die block now. Yeah, this is this is looking good now. Gonna keep pushing them up there, even though it's closer to the ball, just so that we keep them in this and not over here, where he might make use of the positioning. So let's see about this. Claw block. Um, I'm not willing to reroll that, that's for sure. Yeah, we'll just take it like this. Um, which right now means his beast will only get a one die block against our beast, which makes this less likely, but his beast can still block him up here, which is not that good. But we'll have to live with it, I guess. Yeah, he keeps doing... He didn't even stand up a player now. He just did a one die block with a player. I mean, this time he had block and I didn't, so it was a one in six chance for that to fail, but still, really... His guard guy still has not stood up in three rounds or something like that. No, he, first he was stunned, then last round he didn't stand him up, and now he's still on the ground. Why is he not bringing him, him in? I don't understand. It's just, it doesn't make sense why he's, he's making so many mistakes now. By the way, I'm going to stall this out until the end if I get the chance. I don't want to give his beast more than... I don't want to give his beast anything else. Because he's ignoring this now completely. He wants me to score quickly. He's just trying to dominate this area down here. And I'm not going to let him. Not a chance. Yeah, I guess we're going to try with rabies. But... Um, that would be... I want to block with him first. I might not be able to get an assist on him down there. But who knows? Oh, it's a GFI to do that. Because I definitely want... I definitely want to... Uh, go after these guys down there again. I don't, And I want to blitz with my beast again. I don't want to let him control this. Which is why we're staying very diligent here. Do I want to foul here or do we not want to foul here? Nah, I don't think I'll move him down now. We need this first for the assist. And I could go after his beast as well, but we can't swing that right now. At least not when I want to still potentially foul. 
Or do I want to go after his beast now and then try to foul the beast as well? But that's going to put a strength 3 player next to the beast. And it's going to weaken me up here where I want to be strong and still do a handoff, but I've got more than enough time. So I'm going to risk it. We're going to bring him down here. It's fine. We're going to... We're going to get the two die against him. I'm reloading that, though. <laughs> okay. I also don't make it. Well, what can you do? Or no. I think we're going to get the touch on the pneumonia. Yeah. He's supposed to become our ball hunter, so that's fine. Rabies would be good for him to get the next level up, but I'm still not sure if we want to keep him or no. So let's just... Um, Keep this safe-ish. I think we're just gonna do a normal handoff as well. Not trying to throw a pass. Don't really need to. Eh, he doesn't make the catch though. So we'll see, we'll see. But right now, because I put more effort down here again, these guys now might decide to go after the ball again, which could be bad. But I do have my block dodge guys here. And we do still have all the Pestigors who can at least get strength for Blitzes. There's the beast. That's what I expected to happen, unfortunately. That was the risk I took there. Um, it's fine, though. He still can't really move freely. And I can go after the Nurgle Warrior in that case then, and we can still maybe blitz the beast down. We'll see. We'll see. But we'll have to wait and see what he ends up doing here now. It just feels like he has given up. A little bit. He's just trying to destroy my team a little bit, but aside from that, he's not really willing to play for the ball anymore. And I always question why people like that play Blood Bowl. Seriously. Yes, blood is in the name, yada yada yada. That's a it's it's the, the, the weakest argument ever to for, for, for every bash player. <laughs> blood Bowl's blood's in the name. Of course it's about bashing. No, it's about winning the match. I mean, if you derive your fun from, from, from destroying other teams, that's, I don't, it's all you, but still. The winner of the match is not determined by the most amount of casualties, and I don't understand why he's just not doing anything right now and doing dodges like these when he still hasn't stood up half of his team. It just doesn't make sense. I don't understand why they do these. I mean, there is obvious reason behind this. He wants to... Yeah, knock us down here and then be able to move this guy around for free. But, I mean, he could have just stood him up, blitzed then, and then dodged him and moved him a space further. That would have been the same as a result, except he would have been two spaces further back, I think. But it would have been a lot safer. But, yeah, this is just no. Even with this one, two, three, what is he supposed to do there, basically? It's so weird. I just don't agree with so much that they do. And I mean, this is just... really? Two die against block? I mean, he ran into the foul appearance, so... It's not like he can do anything anyways, but yeah. But now I'm starting to complain about my opponent, which also is probably not that necessary... ...overall. So let's just keep playing here and see what we can do. Because now these guys are all back up and they are pressuring me. And now I did roll a bad block because I did something stupid and now I get an instant turnover. God damn, that's bad. Yeah, this is horrible. That was unnecessary. So I might not be able to score this. So I was trying to figure out what to do here. With the strength 4 guys, it was difficult to get decent blocks here in the beginning because I didn't have an... They... I didn't have the assists necessary to or the room I didn't have the assists removed so I wanted to get the blitz in there then have an assist against him so we can two die block him and then possibly also can get a two die block against this guy well oh no I should have started with this one this one I could have done instantly I just didn't see that it wasn't that was my mistake and I obviously didn't start down here because I would have blocked with the beast of Nurgle which would have been too risky in case of a bad dice block but we got that anyway so it doesn't matter too much so let's just see what he ends up doing here Luckily, what I did end up doing is put both of my block dodge guys over here, so it's un it's at least going to be difficult for him to get all the knockdowns. And I do have three out of my four Nurg Warriors there to begin with. But he keeps doing one die blocks. I mean, not that he has a choice there. I mean, he could have moved in an assist, but that would have been too easy now, wouldn't it? Um, so I kind of get the feeling we're going to get to see yet another one die block because he wants to try and blitz the ball somewhere up there. But it's a one die power that it would need here. 
So I really don't know. It's a weird guy we're playing against right now. He's oh, okay. That one, that one I can support. That was a good. That is a good blitz. Still risky. Still a GFI, and the foul appearance one. That's good. Roller failure. So uh, roller, <laughs> loner failure. So uh, he doesn't move, but now he gets a two die with him at least. No pow either. So no movement there, and he shouldn't push us away from the beast. Yeah. So now I should just try to pick up the ball and run away with it. Ideally. Double pushes probably means he's just going to disengage. But yeah, he also just now keeps doing these two die against blocks and then he follows that one. Ah, okay. He's trying what I did. But he doesn't have sure hands. Not that I need a sure hands. And he doesn't need it either. Is he going to be ballsy enough to get it away though? Really? He's gonna try to pass it? When there's... I intercepted. I intercepted the ball. I intercepted the ball. I'm not sure if you are, if you listened in. I intercepted the ball. I also didn't block diagonally, but that was planned. More or less. Um... Okay, I need, I need to free up players, but we're not getting that right now, because we need to get away from his beast now. Come on, please. Yeah, no, my, my beast is also just uncooperative sack of, I don't know what it's supposed to be. Oh boy. So, my beast is not gonna be next to this guy anymore because I keep on pushing, but I seriously don't care right now because all I needed to do was this because that allows me to chain push his beast of Nurgle away from us, which means I won't have to deal with that any longer in case that wasn't obvious. Uh, and then we can blitz this guy, hopefully, yes we can, good, a push is also good enough, it's not ideal, but it's good enough right now, and he is going to stay there to be in the way, or are we, nah, we'll go up there, that's fine. Let's see, I think I'm even gonna do... no. I have not rerolled yet, have I? I have not. But I also don't need to reroll, so we're gonna... We're not gonna take the GFIs, it's okay. I won't mind him being close to leveling up. He would be one injury away then, and then I could get him guard, and he would finally become my, gar first, my first guard player. So I'm all in favor of intercepting that. Why did he try that? That was so weird. With all the disturbing presence being around, he would have needed a six as well to throw that uh, that that ball, I think, uh, or to catch that ball. Probably both. So double sixes, maybe. But my God. Yeah. Overall, now I have been way more brutal to his team than he has been to mine. But he's regenerated every injury that he could have regenerated, so it doesn't look as severe right now. While he has just injured one and KO'd mostly afterwards. And now his beast just hasn't been as good. Oh, two GFIs. He's out of rerolls, though. Made it. But now he's got a... I mean, he needs to dodge still. Yeah. But he's got a 3 plus and into a 2 die block, or blitz, where he needs... Uh, defender down, though. Let's see if he gets it. I hope not. He rolls a one on the foul appearance. God damn, he's having a hard time. God damn, he's having a hard time. What? I mean, sure? Maybe? Let's see what he does. Yeah, these are fine. 
I mean, he's doing a good job right now because, at least with this, because he's forcing me to do a lot of rolls and uh, put myself in a position where I might not be able to get away from his, from his, uh, from this threatening position. Yeah, he has block. I do not. I would have done the same thing. That's for sure. That's kind of unfortunate now because now Hepatitis uh, A cannot get an easy move. I'll just try to get this, but if we don't, we don't. It's fine. Okay. So now these are a little bit more problematic, that's for sure. So how do we play these? I probably... Put him right there. Is he going to blitz back there though? No, I don't think so. I think he's going to blitz himself out of there, basically. That should be the best option we have. And I hope and we just have to hope that I won't just end up um, that we won't end up just Uh, just pushing him. I need a blitz here. Or I need a knockdown. That's what I wanted to say. Not a blitz. A blitz as well, yes. So that we can move away from him. But aside from that, basically, it doesn't matter too much. So let's go... Also go to here. So just the teensiest bit further back. I do this so that we can... Keep him from being able to blitz me because he needs to run around us with all of this. So I'm doing both of my GFIs, so now he he can't. I don't think he will be able to. This one die is just asking for disaster. This guy standing up is also not good. I do have a reroll left though. You know what? Yes, I'm just gonna do this one. See if it works out. It does not. We won't reroll it though. Nope. I'm gonna keep it for last round on the chance that he does figure out a way to screw me over now. He's out of rerolls. He's not in good position to prevent us from 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 scoring and winning here. I mean, we're we are we we are not gonna lose. That's for sure. There's there's a, a theoretical po possibility for a tie, but it let's face it, it's not gonna happen because he's in turn 15. So if he gets the ball on this guy this round, he can score, but. I don't think that's going to happen. But who knows? Who knows? Uh, let's see. He does get some, some more power blocks against my, my dodge guys, which does open things up for him. He will definitely be able to blitz me if he wants to. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. Did he blitz with him or did he just move him? I think he just tried to move him. Really? And then he goes for a foul? I don't understand this guy. Got a stun. Anything else? Or is that it? Okay, brings him up to there. What's going on there? Okay, makes that one. So I will have to try and remove him again, which means I need these. I still have a reroll left, so we can go for some blocks, though. There's the blitz. Okay, it's a one die. And we don't move. Okay, that's fine. So I can see what he was going for. He was trying to get two players next to me so that I might not be able to get away or will have to dodge to really make this work. But yeah, none of these really help him as long as he doesn't go directly this way, which just did not work. Okay, so I'm going to be the greedy bash player now as well, since we've already won. And I hope that I will have used up all of my bad luck already. I am going to try and play this safe-ish. We'll start with this blitz. That's the important thing. That's what I need to work. Which is just a push right now, but that's the one that worked. I'm also, yeah, that's where things are going to start to be a little bit weird right now. Because I'm going to do this where he doesn't have block. 
where I could have failed again with my blocks, but I was willing to risk it. And we only got a KO, so it wasn't worth it. I've already blithed, which means my beast down there won't blith. That's something I've also considered, but we do have a block right there. Oh no, this won't give me extra assists. Uh, I'll still take it. We'll see if we maybe can get lucky. We at least get a knockdown. We can say that much already. But no armor break, so I just run in there and score. So we win this by 2-0. He does get a turn 16, though. And that means he gets to hit me a bunch more times. And that means I'm also going to have to expose two non-rotters to him now. So that's a bit of a shame. And who is it going to be in this case? I guess it's going to be the injured players. Although I don't really care about him being injured that much, so I might want to just give him the unskilled Nurgle Warrior. Instead... But nah, we're gonna go with this and just see what it does. Or I mean, it's gonna do something, that's for sure. But let's just hope that in the last turn he's not gonna screw us over too much with, you, with the injuries and that we'll get away out of this mission without any permanent injury so that I can keep on rebuilding, basically. I need my reserve players, I need more rotters so that we have something to put there on the line of scrimmage at the end. So, I did not think after the first two, three turns, especially, that the match would turn out the way it did. But I'm happy that it did. And I also, as always, feel bad about getting as annoyed and as salty as I, I was. But I don't know. It was a... The dice just were so bad in the beginning. And it's... I don't know. It's always hard to, for me to stay cool and calm and collected and not get annoyed and salty when I just am a, am a spectator and I can't do anything. And it just feels like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just watching here and you do what you want to me, basically. And that's just, it. for one, that sentence sounds just terribly wrong. And on the other hand, it's also, it's just, it's just no fun to, to have no control whatsoever and be at a distinct disadvantage in the beginning. The, that he removed two players, especially my beast with his exact copy of our beast so early did not bode well for us. And if he had played it calm and, and, and not as aggressive maybe and had protected his ball carrier better, I, there was no way I would have been able to to uh, prevent, uh, to, to, to stop that or at least blitz the ball carrier as easily. Um... So that were just mistakes that he made. And that's what allowed me to stay in there. So... Oh, God. That's that's a big load off already here. That, that the beast is not gonna come after us. That's good. It's just really stupid. So I don't know. It's, it's a, still a surprisingly close match, I think. But especially in the second half when I got to do my thing. And I got some, some good rolls and removals there. You could really see how quickly things turned around. Because he did one die blocks. He did the four plus with the beast. He did just so much that was risky. So his priorities were a bit weird there. He could have maybe still made this happen for him a little bit better if he had played it a bit safer. But he just went with some stuff that didn't work. Because it was risky and he could have... I don't know, could have stayed safer. It's hard to say where it all went wrong now, but I'm happy that we won, that we make made it out of this one with just an MNG, and we're looking good. We got a level up, we got one Nurgle Warrior extremely close to leveling up, it's all good. And we rolled a 2 into a 5, which is even better. And that he also got the MVP, I'm not happy about. He's getting too many SPP. He's our ball carrier. He's already at 56 now. I need the MVP on our Beast, on a Nurgle Warrior, on any other Pestigore. Just not him. Oops, wrong team. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see, I guess. Uh, but now I can also buy two more Rotters, so we can go back up to 13 players, even though we will only have two, and I'll, I'll do that uh, off camera before next time. So let's see about Toxoplasmosis. What's his next skill now? He's got dodge, sure hands, and block. Honestly, not sure. 
probably Big Hand. Extra arms is nice. Oh, it's also, it is for pickup though, because Big Hand just makes you immune. Or yeah, removes enemy tackle zones for pouring rain weather or when he attempts to pick up the ball. Extra arms would be for pick up, catch, or intercept. Which is a flat out bonus. I think we're gonna go with extra arms. Instead of the big hand. It's nice to retrieve the ball, but he's not that good to get there in the first place, um, usually, because you usually have to dodge into somewhere to use big hand to pick up the ball. So extra arms should just is always going to be helpful. So we're gonna do that because now he's gonna pick up the ball on a two plus every time. At least as long as there is not a tackle zone, so he doesn't need agility four anymore. So the chances of a turnover because of a failed pickup have gone down drama dramatically right now. Yeah, that helps. That helps. Okay, nice, good. I'm happy with with how this one turned out. Um, so I'm gonna buy probably two rotters to bring ourselves up back to 13 players and we'll work from there. Um, we'll only have 12 for the next match, of course, because Smallpox is still injured, but that's okay. So for today, this is where we're gonna end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more Rupple 2, just stick around. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope that you will tune in next time and have a nice day. Bye, guys.